by real dog I mean you know a flesh dog um but you know the story itself is just really really nice really nice really well written I was actually I almost kind of wanted to cry Hello guys, it's is Redwin. My name is the Doctor, and thank you so, so much for watching this video. Now, <laughs> I seem to have fallen a little bit ill. <coughs> I'm not feeling the best way right now, but n nevertheless, we are here to continue the story for the third anniversary because I actually really want to do that. By the time this uh, new video has been recorded, I don't think the past video has been uploaded to the channel yet. Uh, I think it's still scaled for like uh, 10 hours from now, so um, I, I I don't know if you liked it or not, but if you did, then great, because we are going to do this every day. And if not, then, well, it's, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, but you can always like tell me uh, what you want to see, any tips or anything. It's fine. I always read the comments and thank you so much for um, for watching and commenting. You have no idea how much <laughs> how happy it makes me to see new comments in my videos. So again, thanks. But uh, for this new video, it's actually not going to be that long. We are probably going to get to uh, play a few matches uh, because I'm. I think I already know how to navigate. Uh, okay, we got today too. The painter. I haven't played painter actually, or have I? Oh, look. Okay, let's let's read this first, and then we go into the story. The painter enters the manor on September thirtieth, twenty twenty. A painting is like a person. Its secrets lie not in its appearance, but deep within it. When the young master of the Valdon family found his admirers to be hypocritical and ignorant, he rejected the world and chose a life of isolation. Over the past year, you played as painter in a total of 1 games, obtained 3 costumes and earned a total of 3 lives. In 2020, 13th of September, you eliminated painter for the first time. Hmm. <laughs> Would you look at that? Okay, great, that is great. Uh, cut of time, June 17th, 2021. I don't know what that means actually. <laughs> what is cut of time? Uh, can somebody tell me in the comments please because I actually don't know what that means. We are going to... Oh my god, the music is so loud, I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna try to talk loud. Uh, we have 14 keys from the matches that I've been playing. And uh, that was from, from, from last day, so today we can end another 20. And okay, I, I'm just gonna take a look around. We're gonna dive into the lore of this new third anniversary event. Uh, we are going to talk about the prince first, I think, well, if I can. Okay, hang on, begin investigation. Move the modifier to the flashing area tab on the characters in the scene. Okay. I'm tapping this guy. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to check him. Why can I not? Do I have to talk to her first? I mean, you can't see her, but I'm tapping. Okay, well... Not far from my home, there used to be a deserted castle. On rainy nights, you could always hear owls hooting in the darkness. Legend has it that it was at once home to a prince. The prince had a beloved puppy, but one day the puppy died. Oh my god! The prince was inconsolably destroyed and offered a reward to anyone who could resurrect the dog, saying that he would be willing to give anything in return. <laughs> this is actually kind of like a really bad idea. Uh, anything? Are you sure? Like, there are things that people can ask from you that I'm not sure you would like to give. I mean, if you love that, you, I mean, I love my, my dog that much, so... Um, I... I, <laughs> I really don't blame you for that, but, well... You know, you do you. <laughs> On the first rainy day after the news got out, a witch came to the castle. She touched the puppy's wilted body with her wet hand, and the puppy's fur instantly softened. The prince was elated. He asked the witch what she wanted. Uh, who do you reckon the witch was? Do you think it was an entity for character? I'm pretty sure it was. Maybe... Enchantress? Could it be? Uh, priestess? I don't know. Wait, can I just say, the music is freaking fire fam. Oh, by the way, since, since I couldn't really uh, get this video out uh, before the, the last one, do you want me to 
turn down the music like completely and just add my own music because it is kind of loud and I have the music like turned really really way down so uh, I don't know I'm just asking do you think it's gonna be best for her just let me know the witch said that she wanted the most beautiful sapphires in the castle okay we got some clues for that so a witch ca oh wait hang on rainmaker though he looked as though his mouth was not moving his voice could be heard nonetheless it seemed as thought the puppet was telling the story. He stood at toy at the table and turned to DM's assistant, dressed as a monstrous bird. Can I look at the characters or do I just have to get a flashing area every time? The Prince. On the second rainy day, Bird keep it home to the castle. She took a black feather from the strange bird she carried with her and stroked the puppy's head with it. The puppy starts breathing again, but remained asleep. The prince was overjoyed. He asked the bird keeper what she wanted. Okay, so there are a lot of people coming into the castle, it seems. Like, like the witch only did, only softened its fur, but like, it was something, I guess. The bird keeper said she wanted the most intelligent instrument in the castle. Or oh, the most intelligent instrument, okay. Um. You got 10 clues for that, okay, that's good. The prince pulled out a gear-like object out of nowhere, began filling with it, and then placed it on the puppet. And he took another look at the young girl dressed as a succubus. Okay, the story is interesting so far. I really like it. On the third rainy day, a tailor came to the castle. She took out one piece of white cloth and wrapped it around the puppy. On the next rainy night, when the owl hooded, Unravel this white cloth at midnight and you will get what you want. Prince was ecstatic. He asked the tailor what he wanted. She wanted, sorry. And these stories are good. The tailor didn't answer and simply asked the prince if he had met her two sisters, one dressed in oriental clothing and possessing wet palms, and the other with a strange bird that perched upon the heads of the dead. The prince said he hadn't. My immediate guess is that uh, is this with the, the, the witch and the... I, I don't know what, what the occupation of the other one was, and <laughs> I just saw it. Before leaving, the tailor said that the dog would awaken at the first chime of the midnight bells and that she would come for her reward of the last chime. What she wanted was a golden heart. Okay. Damn. Damn, boy. This whole really, this story is really, I really like this story. Everyone seemed to be drawn in by the meaning behind the story. He looked a little uneasy, but satisfied with himself. And went on talking. Yeah, I mean the story is actually really good. I mean, I don't know if you if you know. Well, you probably don't. <laughs> I've never talked about this, uh, but uh, I actually really really like creepypastas a lot. I, I read a lot of creepypastas on my own time. Sometimes it's at night, at midnight, uh, because I actually like you know these little narration stories. Actually, so this event is like freaking heaven for me to be honest. Okay, uh, I think. We can do five things today, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, move the magnifier to the flashing area, tap on the carriage and see. Okay, so we have this. The prince. It rained all day, and when night fell, the owls outside the castle window began to hoot. When the first bell rang, the puppies barking and the prince's cries of joy could be heard echoing throughout the castle, which had been silent for many days. When the Twelfth bell rang, all returned to silence. Oh no, wait, did the puppy die again? Oh, man. The next day, the prince's servants went to wake him. Uh, but, wait. The next day, the prince's servants went to wake him, only to find his bed soaked with water and covered with a white cloth. They lifted the white cloth to find the prince lying deathly still, his sapphire eyes closed silently, a crown of black feathers donning his head. A gold and golden flower is sprouting from his chest. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Let me see. The prince servants went to wake him. I was finding his bed soaked with water and covered with a white cloth. I don't think the puppy turned to water, or that's what they're implying. I, th I think the water was like tears from the prince, and uh, I'm guessing the first person took his eyes. The second one. Uh, don't know. Just the crowds came, and then the golden flowers sprouting around his chest was a golden heart, I assume. 
so the the, the prince died <laughs> but what i want to know is what happened to the puppy <laughs> like is the puppy gone is the, did the puppy disappear what happened and the prince breathed no more damn the prince's tail that's a really really good tale i'm gonna i'm gonna look back at it and then i'm gonna analyze it further uh but this is a really nice story i actually really like that as the story ended, the cuckoo bell struck nine, giving the story all the more impact. The young girl, dressed as a succubus, looked frightened. She waved to the servant, a sign back to her by DM, and said that she wanted to retire to her room for a rest. I also got up and went back to my room. After that, I had other plans for the night. Alright. I mean... Yeah, after not knowing what happened to the puppy, I would also would like to go back to my room for a rest. Oh my god! We're gonna watch a video. Okay, everybody calm down, we're watching a video. Got the first reaction. Uh, I hope the video isn't too loud. <laughs> uh, I hope uh, the game like makes uh, takes into consideration the settings that I put it on. Okay, let's watch the video. Oh my god, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Not far okay. from my home, there used to be a deserted castle. Okay. Legend has it that it was once home to a prince. The prince had a puppy, but one day the puppy died. Okay, the prince so was inconsolably distraught and offered a reward to anyone who could resurrect the dog, saying that he would be willing to give anything in return. On the first rainy day after the news got out, a witch came to the castle. She touched the puppy's dry body with her wet hand, and the puppy's fur instantly softened. The witch said that she wanted the most beautiful sapphires in the castle. On the second rainy day, a bird keeper came to the castle. She took a black feather from the strange bird she carried with her and stroked the puppy's head with it. The puppy started breathing again, but remained asleep. The bird keeper said that she wanted the most elegant item in the castle. On the third rainy day, a tailor came to the castle. She took out a piece of white cloth and wrapped it around the puppy. Damn. On the next rainy night, when the owls hoot and you will get what you want, she asked the prince if he had met her two sisters. One dressed in oriental clothing and possessing wet palms, and the other traveling with a strange bird that always perched upon the heads of the dead. The prince said he hadn't. Damn, boy. Before leaving, the tailor said what she wanted was a golden heart. Okay, so we kind of see, like, illustrated what happened. It rained all day, and when night fell, the owls outside the castle window began to hoot. When the first bell rang, the barking of the puppy and the prince's cries of joy could be heard echoing throughout the castle. When the twelfth bell rang, all returned to silence. Okay, now I understand. The next day, the prince's servants went to wake him, only to find his bed soaked with water and covered with a white cloth. They lifted the white cloth to find the prince lying deathly still. His sapphire eyes closed tightly, a crown of black feathers adorning his head, and golden flowers sprouting from his chest. Damn, oh and the God. prince breathed no more. Oh, wait. Ha what? Uh... Okay. <laughs> wait. How are you gonna it? So the dog was always made. I mean, was it always a mechanical dog? Did it turn into a mechanical dog? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but I actually kind of want to cry. <laughs> uh, okay, I I don't think it was, or maybe it was a mechanical dog. Because it had fur, in the first place. But it's all just really weird. I, the the thing that I want to know is if the dog was always just a mechanical dog and not a real dog, 
uh, by real dog I mean you know a flesh dog um but you know the story itself is just really really not really nice really well written i almost it's actually i almost kind of wanted to cry um throughout um because it's just really nice i mean the love a, a man had for his dog the dog died then he was alive again he was really sparkling with joy the dog was barking and then by the end you know by the 12th bell just they both died again i assume they both died and just yeah uh. but yeah, at least he got to be really happy with his puppy by the oh my god i'm gonna cry with the fuck <laughs> by the end with his puppy so um yeah okay sorry i'm i'm actually too sensitive with these things i mean i have a dog myself and well i i guess every, everybody who has a dog can understand <laughs> But yeah, uh, the story was really nice. I, I actually really enjoyed the story, and I, I'm glad you, I'm glad you got to see it with me. I mean, if somebody watched this video <laughs> to all, all the way to this point, which I hope you did. I mean, I, I'm sharing this with you because I, I, I don't know I, I like to share these things with you. So um, yeah, really, really nice story. Really, really well written. We, uh, we're just gonna close this and then carry on with what we were doing. <laughs> Chapter one, the end. Oh, I can review the storyline. Hang on. Uh, Mr. Inference. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rainmaker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so here's the tale. And then we have these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the first chapter. Very, really nice. Uh, oh, we can see the chapter two. Okay. We are going to do that next video. Because... Uh, I don't know. Wait, but I don't think we can do anything now because it says there aren't any obtainable points. Oh wait, hang on. We're, we're continuing. However, the night turned out to be more stronger than I had expected, and the little scream lifted the sanguine curtain of this restless rainy night. When I opened the door, I saw a crowd gathered outside the prince's room. The panic-stricken maid pointed to the room of the prince with a trembling finger and frantically described something or other to the M. Mysteri oh, t or other to the M's mysterious guest standing beside her. Wait, hang on. The reaction is kind of weird. But you can make plans to point to the room of the prince with the finger and frantically swipe something or other? Something or other to the M's mysterious guest standing beside her. Okay, I think I understand now. I walked over and what I saw made me forgive her for her hysteria. Okay, I'm assuming the prince is dead. The prince is dead, right? Okay, wait, can I begin? Oh, I... No, wait. No, yeah, because I don't... Oh, wait, hang on. There's something here. The end's invitation has a map of the estate in it. As I ring with an invitation, you can see we have a map. Oh, my God. This is just like my lambellas. Oh, my God. This is so nice. I really, really fo look forward to this. We have a map function unlocked. Ooh, this is really nice. Can I change? Raymaker's room. And uh, the princess room. Damn, this is great. I'm gonna have a so much fun with this. <laughs> Who's in evidence? The princess tail. Princess room. Okay. We have no information so far. Okay. Oh my god, I'm really, really loving this. We're just gonna continue. For now. Begin investigation because I think there's something else. Or is there not? Oh yeah. This. Oh, I didn't mean to. Okay. Evidence obtained. Strange dog biscuits. High quality dog biscuits with a milky scent. 10 clues. Begin investigation. Can we do something else? Yes, we can. Oh my god. Half a glass of red wine. A half glass of red wine found in the princess table. Okay. Begin investigation again. I want to check this out. Thank you. <laughs> this is what I wanted to check in for a long while. The prince laid beside the fireplace in an extremely distorted pose. His eyes were wide open and breathed no longer. His hands were clutched tightly over his heart. Their widened joints revealing that he had been in immense pain before dying. Okay. Well, he either had a heart attack or he was killed. This is really, really nice. Hang on. What else can we see? Oh, yeah. 
evidence behind leather suitcase. This exquisitely crafted leather suitcase seems to be empty. Okay. Oh my god, I am so gonna be like a detective this time. <laughs> oh, I can I see something else? Uh, this. Dog bowl, an empty dog bowl. It looks rather old. Okay. What else do we have here? This? No, 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 no. Here. Each guest room had its own dump waiter. Maromo had one. In addition to delivering food directly to the guest rooms, they could also be used to communicate with the servants downstairs. Alright. I don't know what a dump waiter is. I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> but that's interesting. Okay, we're getting a lot of clues. The end, okay, the end of serious guest was questioning the maid who wore a heavy look of sorrow upon her face since she was first far over the scene. She had been appointed by DM to serve the prince during the party. Okay. Oh, the doctor is a maid! When was the last time you saw the prince? It was a quarter past nine, shortly after the guest returned from his parlor. Oh, because she looks really distraught. <laughs> okay, we have a time. We have a time. Did he summon you? No, the master saw what a gloomy day it was today, and with the prince being in a bad mood these days, he specially ordered the kitchen to prepare some red wine and told me to send it in. Okay, so I think they are trying to set up the fact that uh, maybe the wine was poisoned, but of course I really don't think it's that obvious. <laughs> was he in a bad mood? Yes, the climate did not agree with his dog, and he seemed rather sick. That's strange. Where is his dog? Good question. I also assumed that he would have a dog with him, but I didn't see him in the room. We asked for the prince. Was there anything unusual about him? No. Why did you come back here just now? Because he asked me to take away his glass after he had finished. What time was that? Just now, about five minutes ago. But you said the last time you saw him was around 9.15. Yes, as he naturally seemed just now, he sent me a note through the dumbwaiter. At that moment, a bargain dog interrupted the conversation, with dumps painted all over his face. DM's head chef led a small dog into the room. The dog barked at the detective cheerfully. It was clear that he could not comprehend the wretchedness of the owner's fate. Oh, that's so sad. Ten clues. Oh my god, first officer. <laughs> Hello. Head chef. What's going on here? Oh, good lord. Poic, you poor master. What did he have to meet such a fate? This is the prince's dog? Yes. What are you doing here? The young master came to the kitchen to find me this evening. He asked me to give his dog some food and then send it up when he was full. This dog doesn't look the slightest bit sick. I'm not lying. The head chef but can back me up on this. The prince thought there was something wrong with the food we gave his dog, and he went to the kitchen to complain. What has this dog eaten recently? Miss Succubus gave it some dog biscuits. Seemed to like them and ate quite a few. As they're aiming to verify this limb, the detective picked up a dog biscuit and headed in front of the dog's nose. The dog walked away worriedly, making the main system seem a little less credible. Alright. Well, I mean, it could, it could be that the thing actually made him sick and after experiencing what it did to him, like from, from the immediate effects, that he doesn't like the, the biscuits anymore, so it's possible. And we know where the cookies came from. No, I, like, I'm, I'm going to analyze the whole thing later, with you of course, and then tell you as, I'm, as I well, have the thing in mind. And we have one more investigation point. Uh, but I want to know if... I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh wait, I can talk to him again. He's not lying. The dog was sick. He only started perking up just now. Just now? The prince said... The prince said so, he said. He gave it something to drink and it suddenly got better. Oh, okay. Said the dog alcohol. Damn. You don't have no action points to me. Okay, we're we'll gonna leave it right here because I don't have any more investigation points and I don't know how long I've been recording. So I'm gonna edit this and then I'm gonna post the thing. Wait, we have the clues and evidence over here. 
uh, evidence. This, this, this. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> Hang on, the princess room. Dumb ways. Uh, uh, erotic dog, my testimony, the final sermon. Stop the dog biscuits. Oh my god, you're gonna be so detective. Okay, I'm really, really loving this. I really love detective stories, and I, I am glad that I get to be the detective in this case. Uh, so, again, we're gonna leave it right here. I'm just gonna go and wait. Oh my god, the music is still loud. Oh, look! We can take this. Yay, free rewards! Oh, there's a really, really nice costume. I'm gonna equip it. Okay. Oh my god, thank god we have passed that music. I mean, I really like the music, but it's so loud. I think next time I'm just gonna cut it off and I'm gonna use my own music, you know, to make it more interesting, make it more suspenseful. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you like it, you enjoy it, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for sharing this with me, and I'll see you in a while.